Here's the punter, Sam Martin, now ready to get us started. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. This is taking look, about seven if yards wanna, deep. Um, if you wanna and they'll see start in a hole like here as he's brought down at the 11-yard line. Well, conventional football, channel. football 101 tells us if you don't get it back and to the 20-yard line on a kickoff right return, now, so that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, yeah. with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks uh -huh. like he had green on that play. Yeah. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. And Davis has it over the middle. Well, look, and he'll be brought down, it looks like right at the 15. That throw good for so four. Look at this game it's right second here. down. You go on YouTube and you put my um You put my game You put my game tag. You put my game tag in. And the D looking like they may blitz. Let's go, let's go. Up, man. To throw on second down. Jackson flushed out right. <laughs> Oh, and now he pulls him over. And he'll be out of hey, bounds. If you want to uh, see it, because I'm live right now. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. You they got had got him hemmed in. Tag but, tag in. Tag but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Now it's time for me to keep your back. Come on, let's go. I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be nice. A first carry now for Marshawn Lynch. And after the good game last play, this time I'm they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped by the line of scrimmage. I'm no offensive mastermind, but of all the guys on the field to block, you might want to stop him. Look, I've got a very simple rule. An unblocked defender is usually your best defender, and he ends up making the play there. He completes it to Julio Jones. All right. It's a Pittsburgh right. first down, a gain of 13. Man, what the hell just happened in my On first and ten, Jackson. Hey, about, this is going to be about intercepted. Man, what's up, man? Deion Sanders, the Hall of Famer, with a pick, and he will bring it back. It's a pick six for a Bengals TD. And the defense could not have written a much better script than man, that you first drive. Pick man. six. The offense never got a chance you about to, to really get a get boss play. Up no. there, did they? But the defense, Yo, I need one more game to get a boss a play. Time play and a great way for them to start. <laughs> and now the offense, they've you got to turn things around play. and figure Please this play. out because your backs are on the ground real quickly. Yeah, usually when you're starting the game, getting the ball, 0-0 zero, zero is the only score you're worried about. Now the second time you get it, you're already <laughs> down a touchdown. That'll be taken in the end Man, zone. you know you on YouTube. Man. A conventional football. Football 101 tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light day. Green light means go. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Well, if an offense is going to throw the ball in this part of the field, any pass rusher will tell you that's his favorite part. Gets a chance to get after the quarterback. It's almost like a reverse red zone. They can create points using their defense. And this time they take their man down. And second down, Lynch. And he'll be taken down for a loss back at the three. They'll lose a yard and it brings up third. <laughs> well, and that played to his resume real because he went to the Pro Bowl last Seriously? year. That's how you go to the Pro Bowl. You make plays like that, big-time nice. penetration, and throw people for losses. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Well, I can't, I can't even celebrate on his name. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam so free and brings up like fourth what? down. Well, we quit counting yardage on that one, didn't we? That was truly third and a mile, wasn't yeah, it? It was. I thought they might just go underneath, but they didn't. They wanted to get the first down there. Yeah, they tried to pick up the huge chunk unsuccessfully. I'm with you. I would have tried to take some yardage just to gain some field position. 
They'll try and throw for it here. And this is incomplete. A hey, huge gamble, quit, and it does not pay off. Win, they they fake the punt. It doesn't work out. Quit, Anytime a fake doesn't work, we usually start. focus our attention on the guys that were unsuccessful. But how about the you defensive guys? They have to plan all week. They have to prepare all it's week. Team. Special teams, they look like they were educated for that one. Educated on their toes and getting a big stop. Okay. You get the mileage. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bengals. A great effort there. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Bengals add on to their lead. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. That's fielded in the end zone. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does. And a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game. And typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. And he's going to be stopped dead in his tracks right near the 27. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. Here's Jackson looking to throw on second down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. You know, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz, and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. Now the former Gamecock, Spencer Lanning, on to punt it away. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And bulldozing his way through. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. Now this Bengals offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. They've got to be saying, boy, thanks for this field position. Yeah, remember their last drive in which they scored a touchdown. That would also begin an excellent field position. So let's see if they can capitalize a second time. They go play action here on first down. Oh, that was dangerous. Throw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. You're down two touchdowns. You just know defensively, you absolutely have to come up with a big play. That nearly was one right there. Looked over at the sideline immediately after the drop and just saw the dejection. They felt it. They thought he had it. Unfortunately, couldn't come up with it. Now they'll run it on the toss. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead them to third down. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You foresee incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? <laughs> Runs over it, and he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. A great play there. Taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Bengals are able to grow their lead. Now Myers for the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. Martin the punter now out to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. 
And not a particularly good return here as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. They'll start by running the option to the right. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Here comes the D swarming to the line. Second down, here's an option right. And holding it, maybe. Decision as he stopped in the backfield. To throw is Jackson throwing on third and long. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. And the safety there, another mistake. And these mistakes just keep piling up. How many more can they make? They put themselves in such a massive hole now. It's going to be difficult to dig out from under. Yeah, for sure they can't afford any more at this point. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bengals have got it on cruise control. And the lead is now an even 30. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. This is taken at the three. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Steelers' offense now, they head back onto the field. Typically down in the first half, I might say, oh, you at least need a field goal out of this drive. <laughs> but they're down to the point where they need a touchdown, don't they? Yeah, normally you know me. I mean, you've been around me for a while now, right? Unfortunately. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but normally I'm the one uh, preaching patience. Yeah. Oh, it was hit at the line of scrimmage and intercepted. Picked off at the 25, and he will score. Touchdown, Cincinnati. That pick six extending this lead even further. And boy, it's been a while since I've seen a team struggle this badly in the first half. I think all they want to do is get to the locker room, try and regroup, and come out to start the third quarter. But if things don't improve fast then, I think the backups get a lot of play in the second half. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This is taken at the three. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And fresh off the pick six. They've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy throwing the ball. He's got to be like what we talk about with defensive backs who get beat for a long touchdown. Short-term memory, right back out there doing the things that he does best and knowing that taking care of the ball is paramount. Here's his opportunity. Oh, it comes back to those defensive backs for the formal D, former DB, right? I, I don't know where that comes from. It yeah. just kind of emerges out of me for some it's reason. It's deep in there. <laughs> Throwing is Jackson. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Dia. Now a 
play fake here on first down. Oh, look at Thomas wide open. A good pick up there of 20 yards. He's been the forgotten man in this first half. Not a guy you want to forget. Not only his first catch, first time they targeted him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Not because at all. those are the types of plays that he provides. When he does come alive, when they do look his way, not only is it a big catch, it's a first down. Yo, what's up, James? Good, Ben. 